My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today is one of my tips and tricks videos. This is a video about how to get a perimeter rim around your die cut images without having nesting dies. So uh, what I have done to start with is cut out this little white heart. Now this was done using this die from the meant to be die set in the 2019 occasions catalog the valentine set and i've cut this particular little heart out and i want to point out that on this die the cutting blades are on the inside edge of the die and that's different uh, than this heart out of the same set where the cutting blade is on the outside edge of the image. So it actually, this one cuts a heart as big as the interior of the cutout, and this cuts one to the exterior of the die. So this one cuts out a smaller heart, this one comes out a slightly larger heart. It's very important to understand where your die blades are and how that's going to cut. So what I did after I cut out my little heart, and I'll just set that to the side here, is I took a piece of lovely lipstick here and I put my die down here and let's see, I put a little bit of tape on it here, kind of just to hold it in place on both sides and put my tape on the edge of the die and then on the inside. Then I took a pencil and I drew around the edge of the die all the way around the image. And what that's going to do is give you an impression of the whole die. And this is the one where the heart was cut out from the inside edge, so it's automatically going to give us a little bit of a perimeter here. So let me take my tape off and bring this up where you can see it. And there you can see I've got an image, a pencil image. Let me get some light on that for you. A pencil image of the heart there on my lovely lipstick paper. Work on this light a bit so I can get some better light. There we go. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to fussy cut out this little heart that we just drew. So on this, I'm going to cut around the edge here of the pencil drawing here of the heart and it gives me kind of a rounded bottom here instead of a pointed one like my die cut piece but that's fine and um, I'm going to come around here and as carefully as I can try to hit the edge of the pencil mark here and remember this is a handmade card <laughs> So uh, you can take your time and get your, um, your cut just right where you want it. I kind of obsess about these things. So um, after I get my image cut out, I will have a tendency to look for any edges and make some minor adjustments so that I get a pretty rounded heart here and eliminate any sharp edges around my heart. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to erase any remnants of the pencil mark that I made around the edge of this heart. There we go. And now you can see if uh, and I've got a little bit of snail on the back of this. When I put that into place here, I've got a rim around my die cut piece without having to have a nesting die. Now, 
you can fuss with this a little bit and get it on here the way you want it. And then this, as you can see on a piece of white cardstock, maybe lifted on dimensionals with some other colored hearts here, would get you the rim around your die cut item. Now, I've done a couple of other examples here. And I did one where I cut the heart out in red and I cut the rim out in white. And so that, on this kind of uh, an item here, those two would start to make the basis for a design. And so I've got the red with the white, the white with the red, and then I did an example. There's this heart that we talked about where the cutting blade is on the outside. And in order to make that one work, what you have to do is, if you put this down and make a pencil drawing, you're going to draw a pencil drawing on the inside, and then you're going to have to cut out the inside of the heart. Here's an example of one that I did. I used this piece to cut out the heart, and then I used the white heart that I cut out and drew on the inside and created the little rim that I laid down and inset on the inside of this piece here. So you can see that rim there and created a, a rim around that heart in white. Then I have another example of uh, what I did here with a garage gears piece here. And I like this piece because this car, which is this die, also cuts from the inside of the blade and allowed me to lay this down and make a pretty nice silhouette here of the car. And I put it on a little darker piece of basic gray. This is smoky slate in here. And you can see what's going to happen when I lay this down on this to make a card on this or on black or anything else. Here's a piece of black I can put on the edge here. And you can see that you can create some very interesting contrast and some dimension by adding this piece uh, with a little bit of a rim around it. So those are my examples for this technique. And I hope you enjoyed that and you learned a little bit of something <laughs> to pay attention to whether your, your dies cut from the inside or the outside and how you can create rims for your die cuts. This works best for simple images and uh, not those that are very fussy. Um, but it's an easy way to add a little different kind of interest to your card if you choose. So I hope you learned a little bit today and thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. By the time you see this video, I'll be on my way back from on stage. And uh, videos next week are going to be my swaps. Uh, I'll throw in some cards and some another tips and tricks video. Again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Bye.